I love that art is very therapeutic for me. I love how I'm able to express myself freely. I really feel happy a lot of the times because if I'm doing a piece on my grandma or on my mom, like I'm like smiling because I'm thinking about, you know, who they are and how they've affected me and how I can bring that to life on a piece. Tania is a leader. She is a giver. She is fantastic. She represents so much of what's great about Loyola, but I also think so much of what's found throughout Loyola. There is so much love that comes out of the school, and there's so much light and so much care. Loyola has genuinely cared about me, and I think I'm continuously trying to find out who I am and continuously trying to grow as a person. And Loyola has been a major key. Not only have I had a foundation at home, but to know that I have a foundation here at school, I think it's really amazing. I attached the little pendant to my Kairos cross. It, went, it was my grandma's, so she owned it like all her life. But then after she passed away, I started wearing it every day. My mom has been in the Navy for about 27 years now. She'd go to different countries all around the world. So it was really difficult for me to kind of be away from my mom. My grandmother became my like light in that moment. So she was there for me. I was there for her, so we gave each other peace at that time. With her volunteer work, working with blind people, reading to children, it comes from the heart. When she comes back from those events, she talks about it. And she says, hey guys, we have to do more. Being able to go to Loyola has definitely attributed to her success because it's a phenomenal school. And I, I could just remember the day when we got the acceptance letters. We both were so excited. So, I, I mean, I'm just very, very proud of her. Okay, so it's one, it's gorgeous. So we're going to work with it. Okay. Tania is a uh, success story. She is just such a hard worker. And I think in the long run, those kind of skills, that kind of motivation, that work ethic that she has will take her so many places in the future. When did you finish this one? A while back, actually. It's been a long time. Very nice. Well, all of them are nice, so I'm very proud of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to all of the donors who have assisted with providing donations to students at Loyola, especially for my family. Um, if, if I'm a single parent. It's very, very difficult sometimes. And I don't think that my child would have been able to attend this school without your help. So from the bottom of my heart, I do want to say thank you. It's a different time. Nowadays, our, our kids have more confidence and they understand more, and, and Tania is a prime example of that. Um, and I think the teachers are a prime example of wanting to work as a community together to give everybody the best experience at Loyola Academy. It's not just four years, it's much more than that. Tania will always be an asset to our community. She will come back, she will give back. She is grateful for every chance and opportunity and she each gets. Class, like, come up with a pitch. Or... At various times in our life, we've all benefited from people who've taken a vested interest in our success. And the role that donors play in this is, I think, is that they recognize that people have played a role in their success oftentimes, and how important it is to continue to play a role in the lives of kids here at the school. By committing $3.7 million on a yearly basis, I think Loyola Academy is saying how important it is that any student who wants to achieve a Jesuit education has the ability to do that. The mission of transforming young lives would not be complete in this place for a great number of our students and families without tuition assistance. But more than that, St. Ignatius insists that we are here to cultivate magnanimity. We are here to cultivate magnanimous people, and the word literally means to be great sold, to be big sold. That is, that our work here isn't just about these minds and bodies seated in desks in a classroom, 
but the souls entrusted to us, that eternal dimension, that essence of who we are, that it's our job to care for those souls and to cultivate those souls and to wonder in prayer what it is they'll do with this one wild and precious life of theirs. That's who we strive to be at Loyola. That's what our mission is in Jesuit education. <laughs>